Good morning, Noah. This is the 31G. I had to hunt it down. We have a lot of momentums here. This is the one. Sorry it took me a little bit. It was just raining pretty profusely, so I didn't want to venture out here while it was raining. It's pretty tight, so I'll try to get the best camera angles I can for you. Sorry, they're so grouped in here. So it does get a battery on it, and we do fill the propane as part of our pre-delivery service. Um, just to go over the weights on this one again, gross weight's 13,000, and dry weight is 9,608. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. Here's your generator. And it does get service too. Most of this you've kind of seen, but I just think I go over with it. Now, try to zoom out. So you were saying something about the walls. Everything looks hung pretty smooth. Oh, let's take a peek underneath. Axles look good. Nothing crazy other than some road dirt. Goodyear tires on it. Oh, I can really get under the back, underside here. <laughs> Got a nice angle there. No, not, nothing there except the, looks like the spare tires hanging a little loose there. Could just be my angle here because it's a funny angle. There's your rear um, awning back there. I don't see any damage or anything crusty, rusty, or problematic on just, you know, basic eyeballing here. There's your awning, speakers. This ought to be fun to try to get in here. It's so tight. Let's see, let's make sure this door opens here. Ooh, just cleared it. <laughs> let's go in. All right, home sweet home. Wallboard looks pretty good. Everything's caulked right. And we, we have, our techs go through it pretty thoroughly and they, you know, right there, pull on all the handles and make sure everything's lined up right and get it all camp ready for you. So you can just pull out and as you said, if you needed to stay overnight and what we call our campground is just a glorified parking lot with hookups. So it's nothing special, but of course you're welcome to stay there. We need two for the night. Lockford Fosgate sound system. The fridge is nice and deep. I think I may be wrong here, but you might actually be able to fit a pizza box in there. This is just where like breakers and stuff live. But there's storage here too, of course. Everything looks, feels pretty solid. I'm not seeing any trim popping off or goofiness. It looks pretty, pretty well built. There's some, if you look on the ceiling, I can see some like, they need to, got a little bit of glue here and there that's gotta be taken care of. Looks like someone had Louis fingers. Detail, we'll have to take care of that. Now yeah, the cabinets seem to be square. Of course you got your oven. Backsplash looks tight and right. No buckling or waffling. 
So far, I'm pretty happy. Let's go in here. Bong's ladder and tabletop stuff like in the poster up on there. Of course, the decking system, the three season doors. Controls for the bed and controls for the awning out back. TV back our location. That's a nice unit. I can see why you like it. I like having a separate room, but it's a good size. So you can see the tie downs live all the way up here. No, you said you have dirt bikes and whatnot. So you probably have dirt bikes, toolboxes, yada, yada. So this, I'm sure you might have seen, but these come together to make a bed. They fold forward. Together like that. There's actually a support post. But then they can vault up to the top. Um, they can also just totally come out. So if you have, I don't know if you have anything that sits that high, like a bimini on a golf cart or something. But most of them can fit under here with that. Or if these are in the way. They lift up to the top so you can make the most use out of all these tie downs for your whatever you have if you have tire racks and toolboxes and gas cans there's actually a gas can gas pump thing outside um i don't know <laughs> if all your things use the same type of fuel or not i know we race dirt cars we actually have a different kind of gas it's like a ethanol free i don't know if motorcycles use that too So, that's kind of the skinny of what this looks like. I don't see anything to report back as a concern, except for a couple, like I said, the fingerprints up there. Maybe some, you know, clean up where they put some of the putty wipes. They can see the swipies. Uh, but I don't see, even see any molding popping off, which is, like, pff, pretty typical. So, that's pretty good. Nothing to report. And um, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of wait. A little neck here. I'm gonna kind of wait till I hear from you on the, um, how you making out with the DMV, uh, so that we can move forward to put this on Wednesday's schedule and whatnot, so you can make this work. I'm sorry we couldn't do it this weekend. Just uh, too, it would be too much rushing, and certain technicians have to work on the ones with the generators and stuff uh, than other ones. So there's a little bit more uh, intense preparation for a toy hauler because there's a few more techs involved than normal. Nothing crazy, but it just it usually takes, for a brand new one with no issues, like two, two and a half days, because we have the last people are the detailers. And if you're getting something like the uh, outside coating, like the Eco Pro, that takes a few hours to do too. That's pretty intense, so you'll have to let us know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, so let me know how that goes. And then I'll put in for the work order to start processing the unit. And if there's anything that we have to order, if they find something wrong, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If it's something you can do yourself uh, or deal with at a later date, I'm not expecting that to be the case. But sometimes when we're cutting it real close, we don't have time to, I should say Grand Design may not have the capacity to rush the order in, depending, because they're in shutdown right now, so... Um, for the July 4th week, they usually shut down for two weeks, so I can't promise we'll get parts every day. So, um, hopefully there's nothing major, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I very, very rarely have anything major wrong with the grand design. So, I'm not, not expecting any problems. Let me know. And if you can't do it with the Vermont, um, licensing, we have to do it to the Colorado address and we would have to issue a 60-day tag so you'd have like 60 days to get that transferred to Vermont. Um, it would mean more work on your end than just getting a license. I can assure you that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Good luck with everything there. Tony said he has it all approved through Bank of America again. So I don't see any issues there. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.